Shalom, Yashallah, Shalom. <clears throat> First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High Yahweh. I do so in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Yasharala. Call Holoyim Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Harakah Kodash, for blessing our elders with the spirit of truth so that we may know. Shout out to the Akim and the Aqua that's keeping the faith in the work. Shout keep at it. This your brother Abaya coming at you with more precepts. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 24 and verse 32. It says, Now learn a parable of the fig tree. When his branch is yet tender and putteth forth leaves, ye know that summer is nigh. So likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near, even at the doors. All right, so them signs been jumping all off these pages, man. The precepts and the prophecies, the prophecies pertaining to the end times have been jumping off the pages. And Yahweh said from the jump, you know what I'm saying? If you want to know the time that you're living in, you have to pay attention to the signs. Right? There is no one person that can say, well, you know, it's going to all be over with on such and such month, such and such day, such and such year, so forth, so on. Nobody can say that. Cause don't nobody know that. Only only somebody that knows that is Yahweh. Right? Yahweh Shai don't even know it. Right? But the thing that he left behind for us, which is a part of that comfort, is the signs. So we can pay attention to the signs and be in tune with the time. Right? Let me go to um the book of Hab Habakkuk. chapter 2 and verse 3 it says for the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak and not lie. though it tarry wait for it because it will surely come it will not tarry right the prophecies will begin to speak if you've been watching, right if you've been watching for the signs like seasons you can hear you can see right you can see these times unfolding and it produces a certain spirit in the individual when you can really see the times that you're living in, right? It produces a certain, um, I guess you can kind of say like adrenaline for real, for real. It boosts your spirit, up, you know? Um, and that ain't even for everybody to have, you know what I mean? It's kind of a tell to, see, to possibly be a member of the elect, right? To be able to even see and hear right the signs to be able to tell the times all right we'll go to the book of matthew it's a lot one second So look, I was having a little technical difficulties with the um, Bible, 1611 um, Bible app. All right, but anyway, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 13, and verse 16. It says, but blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. All right? That's a, it's a blessing to be able to see these times. All right? Not everybody has the ability to. That's why the majority of the most high people walk around blind. Still doing what they always do. That's also why scripture says it'll be just like in the days of Noah when Yahweh sends Yahweh Shai uh, uh, back on this earth. Like this the same same scenario. Right? Noah was out prophesying. The people around couldn't understand, couldn't hear it. Right? So they mocked, made fun of us, so forth and so on. Until the day that the door shut. Once the door shut and they saw that it was real and they saw that everything Noah was talking about was the absolute truth, then they wanted to repent, but it was too late. It's the same thing. Right? So blessed are your ears for they hear and your eyes for they see. Because you got the same ears and eyes as our forefather Noah had. Right? But at the end of the day, <laughs> it ain't for everybody to get. Right, but them signs that ain't gonna stop the signs from happening, 
it's not going to stop the times from happening. It's still, it's still moving on. All right. And go to the book of um, Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 33. And um, in verse 4 it says, Then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and taketh not warning, if the sword come and taketh him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. That's all the prophets been doing is just blowing the trumpet, which means alarming the people. But if you don't want to move when you hit an alarm, hey, that's on you. It's the same as uh, take today's time, right? The, the, the newscaster say it's a tornado coming. It's going to be one of the worst tornadoes in, in however many years. All right. Pay attention to the sound. That's the first alarm right there. You got the newscaster telling you it's a tornado is coming. The second sound is the actual horn. The alarm that tell you is near. Now, you're going to have some people that's going to take heed to that. They're not going to be out in the streets and doing whatever it is they're doing. And you got some individuals that's like, well, nah, I don't believe it. They said the same thing last time, and it wasn't that bad. Right? Just because it wasn't that bad last time don't mean it won't be that bad this time. Right? Then the tornado comes, sweep them, sweep them people away. They die. They going on to the, up into the king or, or up there with, with the father. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what happens to you when you die. Your body go into the dirt. Your spirit go back up to the father. You get judged. You come back down to this earth and live out that judgment. Right? But it's the same scenario. You got the warning being blasted. But very few people are taking heed. You got the warning of the times that we're living in being blasted. But people are still hoping that the the times of old are still in effect. When it's not, this is a kingdom, no different from the rest. And just like the rest of the kingdoms in the past have fallen, and it had, you know, you had people that was telling you, hey, it ain't looking good for this kingdom. Might want to get your mind right. Might want to get your stuff in order. All right? And the same way back then, you had people that didn't pay attention. It's the same way, the same way today. Scripture said there is no new thing under the sun. All right? Verse 5, it says, He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. His blood shall be upon him. But he that taketh warning shall deliver his own soul. So those are, are, are the most highest people that can hear the alarm and see the times. You can see the signs. You really saving your own soul, All right? That's why I say you you have a strong possibility of being the elect that, that elect that will endure until the end and be saved, because you're paying attention, All right? You're not walking around here like a zombie. You you are being comforted by the comforter, which is the spirit that resides in these words. You're paying attention to what's going on around the world, and you're equating it to the scriptures so you can redeem the times, All right? Um, I'm going to get into redeeming the times exactly what that means too right but scripture tells us to do a certain thing whilst we wait and so many of the most high people are just refusing refusing to do so right so this is the book of Mark Mark chapter 13 and verse 33, it says, Take ye heed, watch and pray, for ye know not when the time is. Watch and pray. Take heed. All right? Take heed to the word. Take heed to what's going on around the world. Take heed to the prophecies. Because you have no idea what time you have on this earth, let alone what time judgment day coming. I, I, so many of the, so many people on the earth, period, believe that they just promised 80 years on this earth. Like it's just set in stone that they're going to be able to live however it is they want to live. And when they get to a certain age to want to really take things serious, they'll have the opportunity to. And then they'll live out their days, you know, being quote unquote good and whatever that means. But you're not promised that time. You're not promised five minutes from now. So you need to be acting like you not promised that time. Right? And this this the kicker. 
when your ass on your deathbed or whatever the situation is, that's the time you want to be begging. Right? When you when in, when it's imminent and you facing uh, fatality, right? That's when you really want to be, oh man, I hope I did this and I hope I did that and you know what I'm saying? I hope I told this person that and I hope I told this person, no, go and get that out the way now. Do it now. Stop waiting. You wasting your own time. Right? Just being real. Now, going to the book of Ephesians. Um, Ephesians chapter 5. And um, verse 15. It says, see then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Now, what does that mean? Walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Let's see. So, that word is akribos. Right, a cribos. It says exactly, accurately, diligently. Right, this is circumspect. It says uh, from the same as G one nine six exactly, circumspectly, diligently, perfectly. guess you could say carefully, right? Let me see. Right. It says to live carefully, circumspectly, deviating in no respect from the law of duty. Right? So, when scripture tells you, see then that you walk circumspectly, it's telling you to walk careful, tread lightly. All right? Why did it say not as fools? What does a fool say? All right? Let's get that. The book of Psalms. Chapter 14. And verse 1 says to the chief musician, the Psalm of David, the fool has said in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. So see then that you walk carefully, not as a person that don't believe the most high exists. And so many people don't believe that the most high exists, even the ones that claim to believe in God. When you break down and go into the Bible and show them what God requires, they refuse to do it. That means they don't believe that their word is true. They believe what they want to believe, but exactly what they're following, they have no clue. So it tells you walk carefully, right? Carefully how? According to the word. Not as a fool that says in his heart, there is no God, meaning there ain't no recompense for what I'm doing. What the Christian church say? Christian church say, Hey, um, the law done away with, so you won't be held accountable for any of the sin that you commit on this earth. Is it all that sin is on the cross? So you basically live however it is you want to live. That ain't in the word though. But if you're not being careful about establishing what you believe in or not, you are walking as a fool. All right, now going back to. Ephesians 5. Let's see. It says, See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. What is wisdom according to the word? Wisdom is keeping the word of the Most High. Alright? Uh, let me see. Is that Psalms 110? Let me see right quick. Believe that's Psalm 110. Uh, is it 
111 and 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Psalm 111 and 10 says, The fear of Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom, a good understanding have all they that do his commandments. His praise endures forever. All right, so see then that you walk carefully, not as fools that say, you know, the most high don't exist. I can do whatever it is I want to do. It says, but as wise, walk in the word. All right, it says, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Redeeming the time, what does that mean? Go to the end of linear. That word redeeming. All right. It says to redeem by payment of a price to recover from the power of another to ransom buy off. It says metaphorically of Hamashiach freeing the elect from the dominion of the Mosaic law at the price of his vicarious death. You already don't understand that's made up by the damn devil. All right. That's another part of walking circumspectly, carefully. All right. Got to go into them precepts with understanding. All right? It says, to buy up, to buy up for oneself, for one's use, to make wise and sacred use of every opportunity for doing good, so that zeal and well-doing are, as it were, the purchase money by which we make the time our own, redeeming the time, paying back what was wasted, all of the time you wasted in the streets, all of the time you wasted in the clubs, all of the times you wasted smoking weed, all of the times you wasted in folly and foolishness, redeem that. How? To make wise and sacred use of every opportunity for doing good. What's good according to the word? Romans chapter 7. chapter 7 and 12 it says well for the law is holy and the commandment holy and just and good all right redeeming the time all right making good your time from this point forward so that you will be able to endure until the end and be saved because scripture says the righteous will scarcely be saved why why are the righteous why will the righteous scarcely be saved first and foremost scripture say we all um, fall short of the glory of the most high scripture says a righteous man falls uh what seven times which is it don't literally mean seven times it means a complete number of times but he gets back up while the wicked just lounge in their wickedness. Right? Maintaining good works until the end so that most high willing you will be deemed the elect that receives salvation. It's not set in stone because we not on them ships looking at the destruction of Babylon according to Revelation chapter 15. We still here, still enduring, still waiting on prophecies to fully unfold. But at the end of the day, we can see these times because we can see the seasons, because we can see the signs. We see in the signs. So that means that that redeeming the time should be a bit more intense. You should be making sure that you're doing what you should be doing. All right. The most high gave through you a bone. He gave you his word. So that you can be able to gauge the times that you're living in. Only a fool will not pay attention to that. Because they don't believe that the most high exists. They take the word as a feel-good book. Just something to 
make themselves feel okay about certain things. Then they go about living their everyday life, doing whatever it is they do, however it is they want to do it. That's just the truth. Right? So at the end of the day, man, if you can hear and you can you can see this this word, all praises to you, all praises to you, by Shimi Hawashai rather. Call her Lord Yahweh by Shimi Hawashai for that. Right? And most high willing, we'll be able to endure until the end and be saved. I ended with that. Call her Lord Yahweh by Shimi Hawashai by Hashim Harakakodash. Shalom, Yashallah.